meta humans are about to be lit <laughs> in the Unreal Engine 5.2. Welcome back, friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. So you know how, guys, whenever we log into the uh, MetaHuman character creator, how the characters look really, really good. And I don't know if you guys have tested it, but up here at the top, you have the medium quality, which is usually the default that uh, people are used to seeing. But then when you drop down, there's the high you know, ray traced version, and then you have epic ray traced version. Now, there's a big difference because if you look at the eyes of this character, this um, meta human, you can see the difference between the medium lighting, you see how the lighting is quality there, and epic right there. Okay, so they have just announced, we you know, the roadmap to the Unreal Engine 5.2, and look what is coming to the 5.2, the Unreal Engine 5.2. Yes, we're going to have better lighting with Lumen. There's a, a performance updates in Lumen, and those going to include, include the improved GI and occlusion on characters for thin geometry. So the things that we've been encountering when we're rendering in uh, Lumen that we're desperately looking for because we could only find them in path tracing, you're getting more and more, uh, you're getting closer to the look of path tracing using Lumen. And this is the best example I think I can show you uh, over here in the Matter Human Creator that shows you how beautiful these characters are. Because for some reason, even when you're in the Unreal Engine, like when you look at the eyelashes over here, sorry, the eyebrows, you really don't get that unless if you were in uh, path tracing, right? But so this particular level, I think gives you an idea of the kind of quality we should expect in the new MetaHuman updates uh, for especially with the Lumen and support. And one thing else, uh, one thing that I've noticed also, I mean, about, apart from these other like two-sided foliage support, better approximation of secondary bounces, surface cache, you know, all those things, there's also an update coming to 5.2 with ray trace shadows right, which is going to include ray trace shadows for rectangular lights and like, because I use rectangular lights in all of my lighting for the meta humans, and it's, it gives me such good results with Lumen, but seeing that now the shadows are going to be closer to like path tracing, it's going to be a huge boost to the quality of our characters, especially the, the meta humans, right. And then of course there's a, an update for path tracing that is coming in 5.2, the subsurface shading, uh, mesh decal support, support for the specular scale. So there's so many cool things that they've added in here that I am super, super stoked to see in uh, the Unreal Engine 5.2. And I think uh, an example, uh, when we think about Fortnite, how it has been transitioning, you know, to uh, using Nanite and the Unreal Engine more and more with uh, 5.1 and 5.2, uh, so I'm I'm looking forward to the state of uh, the Unreal Engine because I am they're going to be announcing some really cool like updates and I'm thinking I'm I'm looking forward to seeing some of these things in actual application like practical application. Uh, something else that also caught my eye on this roadmap uh, d down here towards the bottom. Let me see if I can find it. Right here, right these two updates media. Uh, input, output, uh, thumbnail, and preview. So like, for example, if you go to the media IO thumbnails, you'll be able to have previews for the video themselves. Before, it wasn't possible. And in 5.2, they're making it possible. And the ability to blend in sequence uh, these you know, video panels that you add on, like if you've added a, like a video to a plane like that, uh, this is going to be so awesome for virtual production, right? This is going to make it so much easier to make it like contextual, like blend in with uh, the environment that you're working with. And even just like, imagine if you have like a convention and you want to add these uh, videos to a screen, like, you know, and a virtual convention, it makes it so much easier. And then of course the virtual camera is getting some major, major updates. These are things that I use in my day-to-day -day workflow. When I'm working with meta humans, I'm creating, I'm trying to create like uh, scenarios for short films. These are to me the things that make a big difference. So seeing that there are gonna be major updates coming to that, like the live link virtual camera app, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see that uh, coming to 5.2. I feel like I wish like this was actually here yesterday, <laughs> right? And so when you get a chance, guys, just go through and take a look at some of all these new updates. Uh, for those of you, if I know it, many of you are interested in different types of usage for the Android engine. Uh, for me, I'm just picking up on the things that I know that I use day in and day out, right? 
And uh, so if you, for Apple users, Unreal Engine editor native support on Apple Silicon, that is big for Apple users. Uh, and then the ML deformer, uh, the control rig is a major one because we tend to, uh, well, we animate our characters using motion capture, but then you wanna go back and we go to add on top of that an additive layer with uh, different types of animation. So it's good to see that they're working on improving that, uh, like the rig itself, the control rig. And of course, then there's physics. There's some things that physics up can be used to create like secondary motion, which is a big deal. Because sometimes some of the things you don't want to be hand animating when you could automate them. And I think that's where artificial intelligence comes in, guys. Even I believe, I truly believe that back in the back end of this, there's artificial intelligence at work, even in the Unreal Engine. So they might call it coding, but it's it's still, it's still machine learning, you know, being able to take like the motion of a, a character on a track, for example, if you're driving through, like for me, I'm thinking about the characters in my uh, series where who, the when they need to drive through a village, I can imagine all the potholes, you know, that uh, simulation of uh, the, the bumps and shock absorbers and things like that. So it's cool for me, I'm thinking about practical applications of that. So. When you get a chance, guys, again, go take a look at in-depth look of this. If you haven't looked at 5.1, you can go through and see everything that has been updated in the current 5.1, but then 5.2 is on its way as well. And this to me is a major one, which is uh, the update of uh, how meta humans look, because we are, I mean, it's exciting to be able to use these characters in short films in concept and like pictures, like previews and things like that. So I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you so much again for joining me today, guys. If you're new to my channel, I, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you're alerted when I post a new video. And uh, thank you so much to all my patrons. I truly appreciate your support. Much love and see you. That's the meta human is smiling. I know why, because I am smiling too. <laughs> much love. I will continue to pray for each and every one of you. Please never give up on your dream. Dare to dream big as always. Stay safe. Bye for now.